Got the air compressor out of the trailer because I needed to put a new tire on the other trailer and put some air in the car tires. So, old tire, new tire. I got to use my Milwaukee Impact gun. If I have enough power, I'm gonna stop by Harbor Freight and get another tire because that one's pretty dry rotted. So I'm gonna replace that one too. And then I'll just keep that as a spare. Um, so that's just ballast to try to keep the trailer from wiggling so much on the drive down there. <laughs> gotta replace this tire because I got a freaking bubble. Come on. Oh man, that's such a good tire too. Oh, I got a new one in there. We shall see. Now I'm off to get a big giant eight foot stainless steel table for a hundred freaking bucks. Oh hell yes, I'm getting that. This is six foot, so three foot will extend out the front and a foot will extend out the back and that'll keep me balanced. I might get myself a 55 gallon barrel too. He's gonna try to get me one. Oh, I scored myself an eight foot stainless steel table. That's gonna become my new primary workbench. I also got two really nice rolling carts and I also got this plastic riser. It's like a very, very short table. That's gonna be for keeping my pellets off the ground so they don't rot in the winter time or get wet if water gets in the shed. So, pretty cool. So, this guy here got me some barrels and I caught his eye because he drives a Metro. <laughs> and as you know, I have Metros. Look how his engine's attached. <laughs> it's attached with freaking zip ties. Oh my God. How many miles on this thing? Well, the speedometer, I've had it for three years and the speedometer quit at 145. So he's probably got 300,000 miles on it. Check this out. He made it a pickup truck and he loads this thing with up to eight barrels. He stacks them way up. Tie downs welded and bolted on. And that's how he carries his cargo. That is so freaking awesome. I love this too. This is great. <laughs> Alrighty, the haul for today. I got an eight foot, 96 inch stainless steel table. 100 bucks. Jesus, look up what these things cost. That's insane. I don't know why they added this flashing. I'm going to try to take that off. Try to clean this up, make it nice. Um, while I was there, they also had other stuff, which I grabbed. 60 bucks for the other things. Um, this I'm going to use inside the shed that I build to hold all the pellets. Keep them off the ground. Give a little air gap underneath. And then I got these two rolling carts. Really nice. You know, good condition. They're sun faded, but they're good condition. I'm actually going to use one of these in the house. Probably this one. Now well, this one's got lips and three levels, so maybe this one. So I have a shopping cart so I can load the food we get into the shopping cart, roll to the door, hand the food to Michelle. She can load it into this and we can roll it to the fridge or freezer because we usually get a lot all at once. <laughs> and then um, obviously I also replaced the tire on the trailer. Actually, I think it's the other one. Um, I get 3D print replacements for these. I actually want to make them adjustable, so a sleeve that'll go over this is threaded, and then a large threaded end cap, and then I can adjust it to um, level the table and also have support in the middle. Yeah, there's a brand new tire. Uh, Harbor Freight, 20% coupon, yeah, 47 bucks. Um, I also got two barrels, 20 bucks a piece. So now I have steel barrels. I can use these as burn barrels and go from there. I'll probably unload this tomorrow. It's getting a little chilly now. And um, that's it. Oh, and I might have chairs. I found a listing for some nice cushioned dining room chairs for um, inner metal. So they'll hold us for 40 bucks for four. Really good deal. So I'll finally have some. I'll finally be able to stop using the folding chairs to eat at. <laughs> I got to finish cleaning out the rest of these kerosene barrels. Um, some One of them is going to be gas. So I can, well, maybe two. So I can keep 30 gallons of gas on hand for um, things like the snow blower and pressure washer and stuff like that and um four of them will be for kerosene although once i'm not using kerosene anymore i'll probably just keep two kerosene this way i'll have um about a one week emergency supply of heating fuel if something happens like if the pellet stove dies for whatever reason i've got a i'll have a week of fuel on hand at all times i'll have to keep that in the shade i'm not in the shade i'm dark 
and I'll also have to treat it to stop blooms from growing. And I think I showed you guys this already, but just in case, I got that cart. So this is the cart that I'm gonna be able to use. So in the back, I have a patio like this. Um, the shed's gonna be on that side of the house, but I'm only gonna be able to drive to that side. So I can unload my load of pellets onto this or whatever it is I get. This will roll to the shed or into the workshop or whatever. And so this is gonna be very, very nice, very handy. That's gonna go inside the house. And I'm glad I didn't get rid of the propane tank since I can't get natural gas now. So good thing I hung on to the propane grill <laughs> since now I can't use the natural gas grill. So got ourselves a tree, uh, 60 bucks on Craigslist um, or Marketplace, whatever it was, because I refused to pay $70 for a live tree. That's insane. This was 60, but I can use it over and over again. It's a pity, I like live trees, but apparently that's an expensive thing around here. Still gotta take the ghost down, put the snowman up. <laughs> and get the bubble fixed in the tire. More to come. Oh, and I also got the seven gallon water heater. So I have at least some hot water in the house until January when he can come out and fix the big water heater. All right, critters, what the hell is that? Is that an animal print or is that a tool print? I don't see any more, although there's another mark there. So, a little seven gallon hot water heater to put underneath the sink so I can have a point of use hot water heater so at least I have hot water for doing dishes. Just doing dishes is a pain in the butt in cold hard water. So I had to get some new cables. Thankfully Hart's hardware was reasonable. They're only nine bucks a piece, 36 inches long. But I also needed something else. So you have two three ace fittings here and the fittings on there are five sixteenths or something like that basically big small well all these cables are the same thing you got one small side and you got one big side see well the problem is for the one that's okay that's a small fitting goes there tank is a big fitting goes there but then you have the second cable tank is a big fitting goes there cable is a small fitting that's a small fitting but they're both female so i needed a male male union to join them once you unscrew the threading off of these this becomes a male male fitting and then i will be able to join them together and that should be all i need to get this going well i think i got it so more tanks installed i don't hear any leaks once i get rid of the water softener there this fit perfectly in here so there's my hot water input going into this water heater and then this union joined it with the sink so put it at max 140 that's max it that should do it. Although I really should put this on a meter so I can see how much power it's consuming. I just might do that. Yeah, softener removed, hot water tank installed. Of course the kittens have to inspect the work. If it doesn't pass kitten muster, I gotta redo it. But there you go. It fits nicely in there. So not only will this give me point of use hot water right at the sink, but it's also a backup to the um, main hot water tank. So in a situation like right now, when that fails, I turn this on. I got my little meter on there so I can see how much power consumed. It's 1,440 watts. The meter's good for 1,800 watts, I think. Yeah, 1,800 watts. So it is within specifications. The only problem is that outlet is probably connected to the same circuit as everything else, which means when I'm cooking, I'll have to turn that off. But... That wireless device makes that very easy. Just a tap of a button, I turn this off, and I'm good to go.